This is Professor Sheldon Amai, Chicago Ken College of Law, and I want to say a few things about the Supreme Court's June 24th, 2000, 2013 decision in uh, Fisher v. University of Texas at Austin. Um, the background here is that the University of Texas had an affirmative action program designed to promote uh, diversity in admissions, and it was a so-called holistic approach to uh, admissions, which took race into account together with many other factors. This was on top of a top 10 percent program in which students in Texas uh, high schools, top 10 percent of those students were automatically admitted to the University of Texas and other uh, universities within the system. The Supreme Court applying strict scrutiny to the Texas plan in the Fisher case uh, held that the District Court and the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals did not apply strict scrutiny properly. Uh, it, it ruled in particular that the Fifth Circuit and the Federal District Court had not uh, been strict enough, if you will, with the narrow tailoring aspect of strict scrutiny. It deferred too much to the University of Texas's good faith in connection with whether race-neutral alternatives to its holistic affirmative action plan had been uh, properly considered. As a result, the Supreme Court reversed and remanded to the Fifth Circuit, then to go back to the District Court to consider whether, in fact, the University of Texas's affirmative action plan did indeed pass strict scrutiny. Now, some people thought that uh, the Fisher case was going to serve as a vehicle for a majority of the court, which has not made a secret really of its displeasure uh, for affirmative action, uh, displeasure with affirmative action, uh, to overrule the Grutter case, which held that diversity is a compelling governmental interest and that you, you do indeed use strict scrutiny in those situations. Some thought that the Supreme Court might have, in the Fisher case, ruled that race could not be a permissible factor at all. That's not what the Supreme Court did in Fisher. However, it did make it uh, considerably more difficult in affirmative action cases which use race as fa a factor in terms of promoting diversity to pass strict scrutiny. We'll see what happens when the case gets down to the federal district court uh, in this particular case, and we'll see the impact of this in other uh, affirmative action uh, challenges.